welcome back everybody so we're still on amity right now and the equipment that we picked up yesterday i didn't drop it all in the only thing i dropped in was the fire control system flamer for the jenner uh, because it was only one day to drop that in the other changes i want to wait for because i want to just continue along here um, that it put our pilots and our mechs back at the same time uh, so i want to keep going until we got to jump planets so let's have a look at the command center here real quick. There's a mission I want to take today. It's called the it's weakest link. It's only a half skull mission. It's an assassinate mission against clan Burrox. I'm hoping to pick up some clan gear here. Um, and a half skull, I don't know. I think we should be more than fine with this one against clans. It's, it is an assassinate, so most likely it's going to be a couple of lances. But let's negotiate this. We're going to go full salvage because I'm hoping to pick up some clan gear here. Let's accept standard lance and let's go. All right, here we go. Looks like it's two lances plus the leader and one guy. So that's going to be, t oh my God, that's going to be a lot of, uh, we got a group of guys with us too, which I don't think are really going to help all that much. What do we got here? A thorn, two thorns, three thorns. And a shadow hawk. At least they have good armor. Oh, okay. This could be bad. I think we're facing at least ten. Well, let's see what we're up against. So I want you. Uh, let me know down in the comment section down below, guys. I was thinking about some changes for the Talos. And here's what I was thinking. We got the LRM-15 running right now, but I was thinking about maybe pulling the LRM-15 out and moving the ER large laser from the right arm to the left arm and the tag barrage to the left arm as well. Yep, pulling out the two medium lasers in the left arm, going back to the rifle, medium rifle, 45 damage, 510 meter range uh, in the... Wait, yeah, put that in the right arm. So we'd have a rifle in the right arm, ER large in the left arm with a barrage. The medium X pulse would probably go in that arm as well. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. And then load up the, the where the LRM was with rocket packs that we have. So we'd have really good punchy damage. Um, and then we'd have three weapons that would do 45 damage each um, once those punchy weapons have have uh, been exhausted. I don't like this. I await your command. I'll rape you. Oh, there's an urban mech. Let's just hold off. I got a feeling we're going to be going longer than 12 turns here. We've only got 12 turns of incendiary fire. This does not look like the AC version though. What version is that? Is that like the LRM version? I can't tell. Looks like it's, oh no, that looks like the, uh, what's it called? Um, that looks like the uh, one with the big uh, laser in his arm. Yeah. That's what that looks like. Which means he's got to die fast. Okay. I uh, can't risk it at this range. Confirmed. We can stop him from shooting though. I don't think the heat will stop him from shooting. He may decide to fire. But if he does, then... Uh, He'll definitely be overheated. 
What do we got back there? Thorn, probably? No, I have no idea. As long as it's only Lerm 5s, I'm okay. Firefly, Thorn, okay. I hear you. <sighs> this guy can wreck you in one shot. Let's just reserve. If it's the mech, I think it is. He, it's a, it's a one shot pretty much for this guy. I think that PPC does a hundred damage or something. At least I think that's what it. If it's if it's the mech, I think it is. It's pretty much what it is. The Jenner might be able to take that. As long as it didn't hit a torso, hit the CT, or a leg, I think we'd be okay. Although leg would put it out of the battle because we wouldn't be able to pursue anybody. Because I could just shoot our leg off, right? Okay, plenty of LRM5s, which leads me to believe it's probably mostly mechs back there. Like Thorns. I'm fine with that. If they want to be all thorns, I'm cool. Thorn. 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 I'm good with that. We can kill those guys. No problems. I mean, it's a half skull. How bad could it really be? Stupid, stupid, stupid. This guy's got a lot of armor left. It's a good thing he's overheating. I don't know what that guy was. I'm going to move our affairs on up into here and target this guy, but put him in the like in front of the locust. So if this guy decides to fire and then maneuver, uh, at least I'll be giving uh, our locust a bit of a shield. If he decides to move and target the uh, Jenner, Jenner's in trouble. Although, you know, he might just fire straight on the uh, trebuchet, because the trebuchet is right in his face. Here he comes. Oh, beautiful. No, he's shooting. Oh, it's the rocket version. Okay. Okay. I was freaking out for nothing. Alright, so let's get into... I don't have to worry too much about him now. Let's get into here. Mm, can we get him in? We can. Beautiful. Let's get into there then. Just want to make sure he's in a good range bracket. Let's switch these up to dead fire. Barrage can stay off. The rockets can stay off for now. Let's just go after him. Okay, we should be able to take him out next turn. And then... We'll push up, take this hill, and we do what we did before uh, a while back, and just sweep this hill. Push them up the hill. And I don't know if Burak's going to run. They most likely won't run. But we gotta, we got to push up this hill. We can't give them the height advantage. What can I do for you? Let's get into here. Stay in the trees, please. Alright, good shots. This should be good. Damn. Well, we'll take the three heat. A ripper, eh? Ah, oh, you fucker. Enemy sensor lock detected. Good thing he did it at the end of the phase. Oh, that's another urban mech. Okay, so we got three thorns, two herbies, a ripper. What was this guy again up here? Firefly, right. Okay, let's take both these two down this turn, the ripper and this guy. I'm going to move over here. We're going to barrage this, I think. 
we'll use the barrage from um, maybe the Talos this time. I think so. Although I'm considering this guy looks like he's got a, a like a auto cannon on the arm or something. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll move the trebuchet up into here, target him with the hydra ammo, move the the Jenner up here, target him, move the the uh, um, locust up here, target him. We should all be able to go before that guy. Uh, let's get into a better targeting range here. That's probably better. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Okay, we lost some sensor traces, but that's fine. All right, we'll target this guy. Wait, what did he have on him? Systems recycling for another shot. Ballistic and two energy, okay. Yeah, I'll be taking care of him in a second. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute, guys. Just give me a minute. All right, GB. Let's get you. Shit's getting real, guys. Shit's getting real. 20%, huh? 22. Not much better, but this is better cover. So let's get over here. Gonna, oh, we got 30, 13% with the disincendiary. We're going to fire it. Even if we get one hit, that's good. Looks like we got two missile hits. That's it. Wow. Wow. Two missiles and no flamers. Yep, that's not good. Oh shoot, that guy's pretty fast. You dumb asteroid. Alright, how much resolve do we have? Not a lot, eh? Okay, well... We have to change plans here. We gotta put this Ripper and this Urban Mech out of commission at the front here. Got no choice. So what we're gonna do is do this. His arc light needs to be out of the way. Oh, actually, I got a better idea. Got a better idea. I hope it's a better idea, not just suicide, but we'll see. You know how my plans go, guys, right? Right? You know how my plans go. Fingers crossed. Dot your I's, cross your T's, hope you don't die. Oh. Come on guys, decide what you're doing over there. This is a bad idea. Understood. But I'm always full of bad ideas, so let's just try it. Oh, 25%. Damn. 
Fuck it. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, that's my fault. Sorry about that. Well, at least this guy took heat too, though. Oh, he's retreating. Beautiful. Oh, he's got a freaking rack too. All right. Well, Damn it, I was really hoping to hit them at least once and hit this helicopter with it, but it didn't work. Plan failed. I'm here. Going full throttle. Let's get back over here now. 30 percent, 28 in the chopper, still multi-target. Oh, the chopper's stealth, so we can't do a multi-target. All right, that's fine. I'm going to leave this off because we're going to need it later. May I interest you in some melting armor? Eh, six heat, eh? Good thing that plus 25 percent damage is, uh, Helping out over there. That fire control system is actually pretty good, but with two, with four, with four flamers, with really bad chances to hit, it's not helping all that much. Once we get better flamers, though, and a better chance to hit, it'll be really nice, and more flamers. Okay, witness, we're going to do the same thing with you. We're going to get you back over here. This is going to be really slow moving. Oh cool, I got the warfare suite. Nice job. Beautiful. That's good stuff. And our escorts are still alive, that's awesome. So this is our next target once these guys drop. Let's stay over there. That guy can wreck you fast. Well, you know what to do. Roger that. Nice shot. Not enough for a kill, but good damage. Another hit. Beautiful. We're going to push arc light this way and target this guy from the side, hopefully burn through. His missile weapon's down. It's probably a rocket pack. We can probably burn through it. Come on. Get that chopper. Yes, thank you. Good shooting, man. That warfare suite gone. That guy didn't have much left to defend himself. Hopefully Arclight goes before this guy. Looks like she does. Yeah. Fuck, she's got to reveal herself to the rack too, though. Well, let's make sure we're in the trees for that. This guy's got to go. Switching up for some damage. Here it comes. Tango down. Nicely done. Target that rack too, please. Arc fires on. Okay, he's backing up. Is he going to fire? Don't think so. Our Farazon is woefully out of position. We may have to take a turn. Well, I mean, here's the thing. 
We could take a turn and sprint this way and then kind of come up and attack him. Or we could... I think we're just going to cross. Let's just... Well, we can attack him from here too. Let's just cross. Firefly. Wow. 32 on the urban mech. Is it better with the regular? Yeah, let's go with the regular ammo for this one. How many turns of dead fire do we have left? Six turns of firing. Save it for one more closer. Let's go with this. Okay. Next phase, go on turn 20. What do we have? 18, 17, 16, and 13. So it's not too bad. Uh, we're going to really push that urban mech though. I think the rack, if I'm not, if it's a clan rack 2, it won't have a minimum range. But if it's not, if it's an inner sphere rack 2, it definitely will. Let's get right up this guy's fucking nose. Here it comes. Okay, it's a start. Okay, good shooting. Good shooting, good damage. If we can get a few parts of this guy too. Because it's a risk urban mech, right? We can get a few if we can get three parts of this guy, we can put together a risk urban mech. Because we've got two parts of one already. Okay, he's fleeing. Yeah, it really is just, like, this map, you really just have to push this side and push straight up the hill, like right into their face. If you try and go around, it's just too many turns of being in the lower level of the valley. You just get your ass handed to you. Let's get on this guy right up his nose, please. Right up his nose. Firing. All weapons are go. Oh, two misses. Damn you. I know it looks like we're blocking our other guys here, but we'll be alright. We'll be alright. This Talos could be a quick kill. Oh, this guy moved. Yep, there was a minimum range. Good luck with that. Thank you for putting yourself in dead fire range. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. You know, if we got a rotary 2 out of this, it could go into Talos. You got that ballistic hard point. Although I think the rotary 2 is like 12 tons, I think, or 10 tons. It's heavy. So it would really be the only... Well, we'd have to, at that point, we'd definitely have to pull out the LRM, or LRM 15, plus the ammo, just to be able to get the rack and ammo in. So we'd lose the large, ER large laser. Although, with the rack in there, we could pull out the double heatsink kit, and that could go in the trebuchet, which we could load down with some more stuff. Like, we could take out the three mediums and put in the ER large or something like that. I don't know. We have to think about it. But even just having a risk urban mech is totally going to be worth it. If we can get three parts, that is. Um, I don't know if we can make this guy bail out, but let's do it this way. Badass. We might be able to make him bail out. If we superheat him. Even if we can just shut him down. 
The shutdown on its own will be more than enough to panic the hell out of them. Okay, we got the three thorns back here that really aren't doing anything. This guy's doing stuff though. Oh, there's a knockdown. They blew his arm off, though. Is he panicking? No, he's clan. He's not going to panic. Kidding me? But we're going to target his head. Okay, our fare is on. Time to go up the, up the uh, hill here. We can kill that thorn. He's got his back to us. Good to go. You have to move. You can't just stand there. Affirmative. We'll have to take the heat. Good try and leg him. Although it's a risk, Mac. Damn. I was hoping we could torso him and that would kill him, but don't know if it will. He's definitely not panicking, though. Jesus. Hope there's more than one piece to that risk mech. Yeah, they're fleeing. Big guns are down. Time to leave. Need you to leave that uh, urban mech to our other guys and go after these guys now. Alright, let's see if we can get a kill from the back. Beautiful. That one's gone. Let's clean it up, guys. Let's clean it up. All right, let's do this. Okay, it's not a uh, XL. Hit. 55 heat though. He's not gonna bail out that guy. He's just not gonna bail out. Alright, I really hope, really, 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 really hope this Firefly is not the command mech. Because he may decide to run if I hit him. Nope. Don't know. Still don't know. There you go, buddy. Good luck. Still fighting. He's got balls. I'll give him that. Coolant flush, though. Ow! Who's that? Arctic Cheetah. Okay. Yeah, they had a pretty good solid front defense here with those two Irbies and that chopper. Now, I don't know what the ex extra mech was. Maybe it's the Firefly, but it seems woefully out of position to be the, uh, the other front run mech here. So next turn, oh we're on next turn already, round 21. Okay witness. Commander? Let's fire a maneuver on this guy. 
Well, see ya. Come on, give me some movement. There we go. Stay out of that guy's visual range. Beautiful. Even with that flamer running, this guy, that, that mech runs pretty darn cool. It's shocking because the X-Pulse is 28 heat. The flamer is 6. And he only sinks 30 heat. Or did I put it? No, I don't think I put an extra heat sink in there. I think he only sinks, sinks 30 heat. So he stays pretty darn cool. Even though he's firing most weapons all the time. That's a lot of energy weapons. The barrage is up. We go for the kill though? I don't think we can get the kill. Let's toasty him up a bit here. Confirmed. Don't know if we're going to be going if our affair is on, I'll be going before him or not. Okay, incendiaries, here they come. Alright, one hit, nice. Yeah, I have, I think, an MML5 in that... Uh, in the uh, Jenner would definitely be a better uh, option than have like a half a ton of, e half a ton of SRM incendiaries, half a ton of LRM like regular armor or ammo or something just so it could fire when it's like not uh, not in range. I think that's a pretty good chance. We'll try and go for the kill with the Firefly? Let's do it. There it is. Whoa, man. Yeah, but it was totally worth it. I love how in the cold environment the, f the flames are pretty much gone right away. Alright, let's clean this up, guys. Okay, what else do we got up here? Thorn. I don't know who the leader is, though. Don't know who the leader is. They're down one support land, so we haven't seen all that. What, what's this back here? Falcon. That could be it, maybe? That's four. There's got to be at least one more, maybe two more. So that Firefly was part of the advanced group. Just wasn't anywhere around to support the uh, urban mechs. So what do we got next? GV Arc Light. Can we move Arc Light next, I think. GV will just have to capitalize on what's left over. This Arctic Cheetah. Now this guy's full strength. So he is probably the uh the Falcon is probably the leader. And I think for him to get away, he's gotta get over here somewhere. Gonna hang on to the tag, the barrage. Let's do this. Switch back to Artemis, firing. Copy that. Ow. Yeah, half skull. Not bad against the clans. I'm glad we found those two urban mechs at the beginning there. That risk, Irby, I really hope we got a lot out of that. Although I don't think we did. We cored it, so it's probably only got one piece. I'm your spaniel. Spread it up, base. Spread it up. Target confirmed. Okay, a couple hits. Don't shoot your guy in the back, but uh, let's go after this guy. Alright. 
stripping some armor. Griffin. That's the other guy they've got. So, wait. Arctic Cheetah, Thorn. We don't know what this guy's armor is yet, so he could be the leader. And this is his wingman. Don't know yet. Glad I saved that extra barrage. I'm ready. Let's move. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so he is part of the support lance then. Because of his uh, hit points. Oh, that's his back. He's running. Waiting for orders. Well, if he's going to run, let's take advantage of the situation. Ooh, nice shot. Now, if we can go before him. I don't know. Griffins are usually pretty quick. Talos does go before him, though. Ooh, stay away from that PPC. At least, yeah, the Griffin's running. At least until we can get there. Well, at least it ain't on me. I guess, uh... Okay, can we move to there? Oops, it's pretty much the same here, so we'll do this. We're going to go after the thorn. A little better with this. Eh, maybe we can make them run. What do you need? Can we get a kill on this thorn? Save the barrage for the Falcon. I want to try and shut his ass down. Copy that. Thorn killer. Scored a critical hit. Yeah, he's still alive though. That's all right though. Next turn. Phase 22. Thorn, you think? Or their leader? I almost kind of want their leader to go first. Fire that PPC so that when we hit him with flamers and stuff, it'll super heat him. Oh, it was the thorn. Order. No idea how. Oops. What? Let's get into here. That's the Griffin. Alright, start warming this guy up. Or missing him. What the what? Yeah, that's what I was saying, man. What the what? Okay, we're gonna give the thorn to uh witness. We're gonna use our two big mechs to uh push this uh this Falcon. Get inside PPC range, I think. Oh, he's just sitting there. Commander? This guy's all yours, buddy. He decided he didn't want to move and get in the battle. He's all yours. Commencing alpha strike. Critical hit, Commander. Good shot. Is he going down? No. Nope. All right. Got the treb. Now we haven't opened this guy up yet. That's this guy guarding and entrenching. I wonder if we try and use the if we push this guy, 
get in close so we can't really hit us with the PPC and then target the back of the Griffin and wipe it out. Then we just have this Arctic Cheetah left, which I may be able to kill our fares on if we crest this hill. Maybe. Come on, finish him up. He hit me for two points though. At least that's what it looked like. Yep. Okay, get inside PPC range. Like so. Right, we're inside PPC range now. And punish this guy for turning his back to us. We'll have to, we're using up all the SRMs, but we're going to be using Inferno and the Falcon anyway. Roger. Okay, not a kill, but good damage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's fine. Yep, keep shooting at that guy. That's the guy you guys gotta kill. Jesus, what are we doing? Guarding the drop site? I'll just hang out back here and, you know, watch the drop zone, just in case they're dropping. We're not gonna get to a position we need to be in. Oh boy. That's probably a kill if we hit him. That's a good chance to hit though. Let's vigilance this. Where do we take the back damage from? Who shot us in the back? Uh, okay. Let's remove this guy. Now we can put everybody on the main guy. That guy's gonna run. Arctic Cheetah most likely will run. Oh, that's in front of that guy. He's running, this guy. Well, at least we're in the trees here. Let's get over here. Just in case he does hit us with the PPC, it'll reduce the damage. Okay, firing on this guy. Oof. Put flames up the nose of the trebuchet, though. Oh, you chicken. Let's get that solid green line. Uh, how far is that griffin? Let's do this. Ah, crap. Oh, well. I was hoping to hit him with the blast and then it spill over onto the Falcon, but never worked. Yep, keep them running. Ready for order. Um... Uh, Let's reserve you. Because I want Arclight to use her barrage first. Yeah. So I want you to get down in here. Here. We're going to target the Arctic Cheetah. Um, yeah. On rear armor. Primary target is taking damage. Nice. Got past the armor. 
Okay, did we get the griffin? We did. Okay, that was a good barrage shot. That's what I was kind of roughly hoping for when I was firing before. But we never got it. Alright, GB, let's shut down this Falcon. Or at least get some heat on him. Just walk it up. I'm receiving you. Walk it up. Actually, just fire at whoever's easiest to hit. Okay, Falcon it is. Here it comes. Beautiful. Yeah, our lance is really designed for fighting on desert planets. Because, I mean, we can keep enemies tied up for a long time on desert worlds. But this planet, it's been hard to keep people overheated. I mean, we got lucky on this one. I live to serve. You know what to do. And here it comes. Rolling. Get out of their uh, LRM range. All right, let's see if we can get a kill on this guy. Firing everything I've got. Good shot. Beautiful. Enemy down. Let's clean this up and go home, guys. Good work today. We got our two main boys left here. Well, boys and girls. People of all ages. Ooh, Falcon gets to go, huh? That's what do you need? interesting. Got it. Um, sure. I can't use the Hydra this close because it'll hit all, all of our own guys. Are out. It's fine. I think that guy knows that too. It's like... You can't use your hydra this close. No, but you know what I can do? I can give you a big face full of fuck you. Here it comes. How's that? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. All right, let's see if these guys can steal our kill. Nope. Bet you GV goes first next turn, though. No, it's witness. Your target's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Where do you think he's going? Critical hit, Commander. He's here for the whole party. I'm ready. Just let him know we mean business. There you go. One less start. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Okay, 25,000. Not a big deal. That should cover our damages, I think. Ooh, five kills for the trebuchet. It's kind of nice. All right, see what we got here. See what we got. Uh, where is the... Oh, there you go, folks. Wait, risk three. That's the one we already have the parts of, right? This is the one with the rack two, though. Which one's better? This is a risk three. What does that mean, though? Swarm of missiles. Okay. Built around a risk spec rack two. Oh, you know what? This won't work because it has to be the specific variant. That's why it's not. Oh, maybe it doesn't. It's a risk mech. It should work. 
This will give us the Rack 2 version, which I think I want. Three missile, two, four laser, and two ballistic. This is the same. same. Yeah, let's go this route. I, I'm not even going to look at the rest of this because it's just going to make me want to take some other stuff and I think we're going to go this route. Let's take the risk herb. Yeah, I'm just not even going to look. Take the risk herb. <laughs> Clan LRM-10. Oh, that's beautiful. We can definitely use that. Clan Cockpit we can definitely use. R-12 Sheath Beacon we can definitely use. Um some extra LRM ammo, but no big deal. That's actually... Okay, we did well. Okay. 39,000. So it took a little bit more than what we made, but that's fine. That is fine. Alright, let's go check the mech bay. Now, hopefully, we can put together an urban mech. It's better than the last one, though, so it was worth waiting for. Alright, we can use put together either of them. Oh, it'll use the R. Oh, that's the Risk 10. I see. Is it the risk 10? No. That's interesting. Why is... Oh, right. It's saying we can assemble this one. That's what it's saying. Okay, I thought it was... Sorry, my brain's dying. Wait, what? That's how much it costs to put... What? What? <laughs> oh my god, no! Come on! Why? Why, guys? This game is just like punching me in the nuts. Oh. Alright. Sure, two and a half million per part. Sure, it's risk technology. What can you say, right? Really, really. All right, that's six days of repairs. Six days of repairs. Oh man. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll figure out what else is here. See if we if we can actually do another mission against the clans here. I don't know. If not, we might just choose something else next time, and then we'll jump. That's that's you know. It's truly disappointing, but what can you do? All right, well, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.